Hello and welcome! In this example, I want to show you how to find the zeros of a function using the TI-85 or 86 graphing calculator. So for the example problem I've cooked up, I have f of x equals x cubed plus x squared minus a 6x. So let's go ahead and grab our calculator so we can get it typed in there and have it find the zeros. Alright. So to get this function entered into the calculator, you want to go to your graph menu. There you go. Now that brings up our axes here, our x and y, and under f1 it says y of x. Go ahead and press that. Now from this screen we can actually enter in our function. So we want to do x cubed, so we'll use the x variable, caret 3, plus x squared, so x caret 2, and minus a 6x. Alright, press enter, and now that is stored in as y1. Let's go ahead and go to the graph, and you can do that by pressing second F5 and going to look at that picture right there. All right, so we've got a nice good picture of our graph, and it looks like it has about three zeros in there. So we got one looks like somewhere around negative three, one at zero, and it looks like one around two. Now we're actually going to have the calculator find out exactly where these are. Now our F buttons basically give us a whole bunch of options but not quite all the options we need. If you see that little triangle in the, uh, over on the right there, it means that there's more options. We can find them by pressing the More key. Alright, so I press that once, and F1 says Math. So I'm going to press F1 for Math. Now, my third option here says Root, and that will find the roots of the function. Now, basically, for our purposes, those are going to be the zeros. Let's go ahead and press root, and a little blinking cursor shows up on your screen. Now I'm going to try and put this little blinking cursor as close to one of the zeros as I can. So I'm putting it as close to the first one, somewhere on negative three, and see if it can find it. All right. So once I have it pretty close, I press enter, and then the calculator thinks for a bit and actually lists out the coordinates of that zero. So it says this one is definitely located at x equals negative 3. All right. Let's go ahead and go through that one more time. So let's see. Let's bring up our menu options by pressing graph, more, select the first option for math, then the third option for root, and then, of course, move this cursor as close to one of the zeros as you want. So it looks like that guy's actually right at zero, zero. So if I press zero, it just says, yep, sure enough, it's at zero. All right, only one more to go. Press my graph button. More to bring up some more options. Math. Go over to the root. And this time I'm going to move my cursor all the way over there close to two. And then press enter and see if it can find it. Sure enough, the calculator displays that that root is located at 2, 0. And there you go. So since this is a third degree polynomial, I know I have found all three zeros using the calculator. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.